हे बैक अगेन टू न्यू वीडियो गैस दिस संपत्ति वाचिंग संपत्ति साइन एफएक्स यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज शॉमी मी लवन एक्स और द पोको एफ थ्री और द रिडमी के फोर्टी कस्टम रोम रिव्यूज बैक विथ न्यू वीडियो इफ आई गो इनटू सेटिंग्स हियर इनटू माय डिवाइस दिस इज गुवी एक्सओएस यू कैन सी फोर्टीन पॉइंट जीरो प� 2024-41. That's an April security patch, which is cool thing. And kernel usage is 4.19.157. Perf kernel has been used here. And Android version is 13. And Goofy MIUI version 14.0.8. You can check out here. This is how the settings and this is the OS and this is typical app drawer what we can get in this particular ROM. And this is the home screen with widgets and folders. And if I press and hold here, you can actually edit the icon. Agree? Yeah, you can actually edit the icon shape and different type of image. I mean the icon image. You can change from here. This is the quick settings toggles what we can get in this particular ROM. In the edit section, there is just a performance mode. If you want that, you can add that here also. That's how it is. Uh, anyhow, there's a quick settings toggle. Still, it's a mere 14 best, not the hyper as well. And dialer what we can get here is direct video call support is there here and if we go into settings okay yeah there's the settings call recording feature is available you can automatically record the calls but it will not announce the other person that you're recording the call some icons are a little bit different here I'm liking this icons in the theme and camera application you get a Leica integrated here and this is a hyperos camera in the MIUI picture quality up to super HEIF format is also given the camera application gives you variety of features here in the video mode you can actually show to 4k 60fps that's good thing here and there are some pre-installed applications like next player if you want to use it as a default video player you can use them and gallery again i will show you within a while about that and regarding security application if i agree to those yeah this is me based not the hyper -S kind of thing you get all the necessary settings and other options you can check out here these things are pre-included in this particular rom screen recording options are also given as you can see you can actually shoot around 2k resolution and up to 100 mps and orientation you get sound source you get options frame rate up to 90 fps is given which is quite good here and they saw the recent apps arranged i'll change them within a while and weather application is also similar to me here not a updated hyper risk weather application here apart from that again you get basic google and me apps here other than that i will show the gallery here before showing you the results you get all these options like recognize text table protective watermark you can directly cast to devices available and slideshow and wallpaper you get all this add to album that's fine in my opinion this is updated gallery app and the scores are 1140 and 3213 not just that in the edit section actually you get plenty of options actually you can change the sky and also you get some filters and even in the video there are some editing options you can definitely check out them once you flash this particular ROM 1140 is the single score 3213 is the multi score I used Geekbench 6.2.2 version here Android version 30 and links 4.19.157 puff kernel has been used and while I was running the anti to benchmark results I got this pop up here our device is overheating mobile data Wi-Fi that was the thing I was getting but after some time it went away and again I able to get some scores but this is the uh, safety net status results both basic integrity and CTS profile match getting passed you can use all the payment applications that's not going to be a problem here and this is the Geekbench score sorry and to benchmark results with the version 10.2.4 what I got is 8,30,187 this is in balance mode not in the performance mode guys and 2.8 degrees Celsius is the temperature is and 4% of battery has been dropped during this entire testing and this is the wide one L1 support with HDR10 and Dolby Vision certification is showing here but I don't think so it will show you anyhow L1 certified here and this is the read write speed test with graphical interpreter and this is uh, numerical 
and this is the internet speed test what i got with airtel fiber connection i have uh, 200 mps plan in here and charging rapidly it is supported the turbo watt charging support is available in this particular rom no need to worry regarding that let's see under the hood uh, settings what are the things we get here connection sharing you get all the necessary things dns vpn hotspot uh, chromebook driving mode android auto those things are given here in the wallpapers and personalization again always on display if you enable that you get three options always is also available that majority of the people like it and plenty of uh, other presets are available if you want still more you can revert back to themes application if you go into this one screen lock screen layout this is still the miui not an hyper os keep in mind icons again you get background color options also that's cool here okay wallpapers again this will not get downloaded only in the u rom it will get downloaded you get all these things but it is not going to get downloaded here you need to manually download the application of this particular super wallpapers mio 14 patterns curves molten glass crystallization pebbles and this system wallpaper let me apply here if it is in dark mode it will be completely darker let's check that in the dark mode yeah will it change to dark mode yes this is the wallpaper i really like it once I switch to dark mode, it will become dark as you can see. Now we'll change it to again our light mode or the bright mode. Yeah, it will get again to this one. You guys can see. Yeah, that's really this wallpaper. I really like it. And if I go into settings and continue in the always on display and lock screen again, you get some settings here. Apart from that, again, display settings, light mode, dark mode. You can schedule them brightness level again sunlight mode is also available smooth and transition make screen more extra dim options is given and intensity you can actually adjust reading mode is also the other option has been given here in the color scheme you get plenty of options here and refresh rate you get default in the custom mode you get 60 and 120 ai imagine engine you get all the four options if you want to enable that you can enable and utilize them font settings again you get plenty of options here and if you go into sound and touch again you get all the options sound effects dolby atmos is pre-included here you can actually choose the preset and equalize it from here harman kardon certified pro audio options are given i don't think so it will give hardware level of integration just they have added software in this particular rom and home skin customization as i said animation speed you can adjust system navigation you can adjust and home screen Again, with app drawer or classic or light mode, you can customize them. Home screen search bar provider only Google here. Style you can change anyhow. Rounded widgets and some widgets settings and folder related customizations are given here. If you go into arrange items and recents, iOS recent style. If I can, it is getting crash here. iOS style, yeah. Now it is fine. Let's check that out. And system wide animations are also very good if i come back here as you can see and even if i use gallery yeah the animations are really cool and responsive they are really really good in my opinion i haven't seen such animations before in any of the rom here anyhow we'll continue the settings here and again if i go into fingerprint face unlock and this one you will get fingerprint unlock both both touch and press option you need to manually select them and even in the face unlock you get option to stay on lock screen if you want you can enable that let me show you the fingerprint unlock first followed by the face unlock you can also check out the sounds here and the face unlock now as you can see it's very quick and fast here very much faster to unlock your smartphone using this particular rom on this xiaomi mi 11x or the redmi k40 or the poco f3 guys if i continue into battery again you get four different modes and you can see the chart here and this is the applications what i was using the battery life is gonna good but there i got a initial uh, overheating window pop-up but after that it is good and you get all these apps and default app settings here in the additional settings you get memory extension up to 5 gb is given floating windows tab plus uh, front camera assistant quick ball other options are going to remain same here i will change the region here yeah 
you get plenty of regions and language support here too no need to worry regarding that and this all the settings let's see bgma how it handles and what all the graphic settings we get in this particular let's go and regarding graphic settings you get smooth plus extreme here no extreme plus or the 90 fps option here and you also get this game mode here you can switch to performance mode here and you also get this option saturated and bright i will keep it and you also get voice changing option turn off screen is also working screen recording and screenshot clear memory options are given here the gameplay is currently fine here with uh, 60 fps not 90 here extreme plus options are not given here but fine you can definitely play the games I'll come back here that's the gaming experience in this particular these are the things what you can get in this particular room you guys can see this are the recent apps memory uh, is also fine here the ram memory and other things are fine here everything is working fine in this particular room if you want to use it as a director you can use it as a director but just note that uh, initially what i have faced this overheating option i mean the pop up window you might also face that just wait for a couple of hours it will get uh, okay the rom will become stable after that you can utilize it as a delta but you have many of options here for me 11x there are plenty of ports available and other hyper -res builds are also available you can check out them and you can decide other of them for you as a dilator we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling bye bye for now